Today, for the weekend, we are going through some damage descriptions. That's right, because while you might be aware quite well of what doing AoE actually means, right? It's doing damage to many targets, but what's the difference between the AoE damage you do, the cleave damage you do, the priority damage you do, as well as the funnel damage you are doing? Because these might be terms thrown around sometimes here and there whenever you hear some talks about specs, meta, who is doing well, who is going to be strong here, etc, etc. And sometimes these terms get thrown around and these terms require some clarification. For example, how is it that right now Destruction Warlock is like topping the meters, is constantly having top damage in Mythic Plus by quite a while, especially the, the, the max damage matching Shadow Priest, but then when you look at the actual meta, Destruction Warlock is being overtaken by Mages, it's being overtaken of course by Shadow, even by Red Paladin, even if we look at the more popular compositions, there are more Mages than there are Warlocks. And you're like, hold on a second, I thought I thought Destro was just easily doing more damage than Mage. And that is the first distinction we have to make. The distinction between doing AoE damage and doing priority damage. What we are taking this as an example for all of our specs today is Nokud Offensive is the first pool of Nokud Offensive. The reason why we are taking this as an example is because these first pools tend to have one particular big guy in the group, whether it's the Lance Master or the Plane Stomper or the War Spear. Those have like twice, even thrice the HP of the other enemies. And you want to, you know, you want to focus them down. You want to put priority damage on them to make them die about the same time as the rest, even more so in this week where we have raging and you don't want to have a bunch of lower HP raging mobs running around while the big guy is still at half HP. The first clear example with Shadow Priest is that even though they do have the ability to do tons of AoE damage, as it's clear, through Psychic Link, splashing your single target abilities to all of the enemies with Vampiric Touch, as well as Shadowy Apparition, their damage is still done in a single target rotation. They're still using the Warring Plague on single target, so they get to choose, for example, to focus the Lance Master or the War Spear. They get to choose who to hit with Mind Blast, again, the War Spear or the Lance Master. They get to choose the target of Void Torrent, of Mind Flake Insanity, of Void Bolt. And the main target is more or less always the more dangerous or the one you want to focus first. So you have the choice, you have the ability to do tons of AoE damage, right? But also being able to focus the targets you want. In this case, for example, the War Spear in the, in the first pole of Nakud Offensive. So how does, for example, a spec like Destruction Warlock choose who to target in their AoE? The answer is that they can't. The answer is that Warlock does not get to choose who to hit because they are doing all of their damage practically with Rain of Fire. And Rain of Fire is not racist at all. They make no distinction. They just hit everyone equally, which makes it very hard for a Destruction Warlock to be able to actually choose the targets they want to focus. You will see here as a result, the Longbow has way more damage taken than everyone else because there are two Longbows per pack. So the damage is roughly equal. We can go down the line of similar other turbo AoE specs. These are all specs that can't really quite choose to do more damage to a particular target in AoE. So you find yourself in these pools, you find yourself in these pools, even after killing the first boss, you move over to the second boss and you pull you know, this pack, you still can't quite choose, even if you want to take down the Storm Speaker to stop him from casting his Tempest, you can't properly focus him down, even as a Red Paladin, for example. Uh, Divine Storm, Wake of Ashes, Consecration, Simian Light, Final Reckoning, your weapon, Legendary, all of this is going to be AoE hitting everyone. And don't forget, in case you're not familiar with the rework of Red Paladin, that Mythic Plus Red Paladins are also doing AoE damage now with Blade of Justice, AoE damage with Judgment, and AoE damage with Crusading Strikes. So most of this damage, as you can see here, is not going to be particularly focused on a specific target. It's going to be, for the most part, get evenly spread. They don't have the ability to focus. They are in one of the situations of many other specs without too much priority damage, where they have to choose. Do I actually do any AoE at all? Or do I do priority damage by using my 
single target spender? That is the same question of Destro. Do I use my soul shards for AoE damage or for single target damage? If you choose to do AoE, then your single target and your priority damage on a particular target is terrible. So is Ret, so is a spec like Devastation Evoker. In this pool, congrats, over 1 million DPS, but this is AoE, this is AoE, this is your tier set passive working off of your AoE abilities, and this is AoE as well. Again, do I spend my essence for AoE or for single target? Clearly, he chooses AoE. So your single target priority damage is awful. Similar examples of turbo AoE can be seen in specs like Unholy DK, that also has a lot of spread wide, even AoE damage without many ways to focus on a particular target. This one, on the other hand, is an example of good priority damage because Outlaw does exactly what you want in terms of priority damage. Outlaw, similar to Shadow Priest, continues its single target rotation that just happens to also hit multiple enemies, because Blade Flurry simply makes your single target attacks strike up to four additional nearby enemies at half the normal damage. So it's basically just single target splashing around other enemies, which is the same thing as a Shadow Priest. Single target splashing around other enemies with Psychic Link and then creating the spooky shadows for more AoE damage. Outlaw is in the same situation, which is very good for priority damage. There are other specs that are in between. They are kind of a mix. You know, Frost Mage does have a lot of AoE spread, wide AoE damage with Frozen Orb, with Blizzard, with Comet Storm, but they still have some ways to focus particular targets, like for example, Icelands and Glacial Spike are still, you know, I want to kill the Plain Stomper, I'm gonna dump all of my Ice Lances on the Plain Stomper or my Glacial Spikes on the Plain Stomper. So you still have some ways to do more damage to a particular target. Elemental Shaman is somewhat similar. You do your AoE damage with Earthquake and with Chain Lightning, but then your Lava Burst can be funneled on particular targets when you're not, you know, cleaving multiple targets with, with Lava Blast in your Ascendance version. That's the main primary difference between doing tons of AoE damage and doing tons of AoE damage while still being able to focus a priority target, a dangerous enemy you want to kill faster than others. And that always makes the specs that are able to have that kind of damage just more valuable than the Turbo Zug Zug AoE DPS specs. Fire Mage is another example. Fire Mage spent most of Dragonflight debating on whether or not they wanted to do AoE with Flame Strike or if they wanted to do AoE by building as big as a single target Ignite as possible, using Pyroblast on the same target, and then spreading the Ignite on multiple enemies. And that was how they did AoE damage. This second version is giving you, of course, the major benefit of doing priority damage, because if you were using Flame Strike, you were just hitting everyone. Now, though, that you're using Pyro as a way to spread your Ignite for AoE, you see that with Pyro you can now focus the priority targets of these pools, like what we mentioned already, the Lion's Master or the Plane Stomper in the first couple of pools of Nokud Offensive. And that is the advantage. That is also why sometimes, even if a certain spec might show up, in the overall AoE damage meters higher than others, certain other specs are just going to be more valuable. Like in the example we made, for example, a Fire Mage is going to be often just simply more valuable than a Wreck Paladin simply because of the way Fire Mage has to prioritize certain targets compared to a Wreck Paladin. So for your spec, you can often see it, or rather you, you should always see it as a major positive if your spec has, you know, good, AoE already, it's a competitive AoE spec already, but they can actually also choose who to target to do more damage to, rather than just flat out even AoE on all enemies. We have collected multiple other examples. We have Demo Lock, for example. They do have some priority damage by being able to target a particular enemy with their demons who will do all of their single target damage on that particular enemy. You have Arms Warrior, who is the complete opposite. Most of their damage will be spread, even AoE, whether it is Whirlwind, Blaze Storm, Cleave, Deep Wounds, Dotting on multiple enemies, Thunderous Roar, AoE, even Overpower, the AoE part of Overpower. That's going to be very 
split around compared to having particular focused damage. BM is similar. Most of their pet damage, you know, Beast Cleave, Kill Cleave, Stomp, these are all AoE, flat out, you know, AoE spread damage instances. Arcane does have good priority damage. It's already built in, you know, with abilities like Touch of the Magi, storing damage you do to a single target to then spread out and splash damage on multiple enemies. That is already a good built-in prio damage for Arcane. However, that's where you can find another difference. That's where you can split from not just having turbo AoE or having priority damage, but also certain specs able to have funnel damage. Now, this doesn't mean that if you have Funnel, then suddenly you, you can't have priority damage or you can't have Turbo AoE, like in the case of Shadow Priest, who has everything. But some of these specs will also have the ability to do Funnel damage. This is, practically, when you do so much priority damage in AoE that you're practically ignoring to do AoE damage in order to do single target damage. And that's because your kit gives you extra things, gives you cool stuff if you are hitting multiple enemies, and then you spend all of that cool stuff you gained to do single target damage. In certain instances, even, you know, even balance, even assassination can have funnel damage. The simplest example for this is, for example, Ret. What does, what does Ret gain if you are hitting multiple enemies? You know, if, if the Divine Storm is hitting six enemies, what do you gain in single target? Nothing. There is nothing like beneficial for you if you're fighting six targets at once to do more single target damage. What does a Devastation Evoker gain if you are using Fire Breath on six enemies? Are the, the ticks of Fire Breath on six enemies helping you do more damage on the priority target? Like you will with your hero talents in the next expansion? Not for now. But talking about ticks of damage, what happens to an Elemental Shaman? if they have six different targets ticking with flame shock. What happens is you have now an insta cast, infinite charges, lava burst, because your flame shocks are gonna be ticking so often that you will constantly proc your lava surge and constantly have free lava bursts to dump on a single target. So you're not doing AOE damage. Flame shock doesn't really do damage. You're only using damage on other enemies to empower your single target even more. That is the concept of Funnel. Even, even a Shadow Priest could do this. A Shadow Priest could be using Vampiric Touch and Shadow Brew Pain on multiple enemies, not to benefit as much from these two abilities, but to get the insanity generation from the two abilities, to get things like Echo and Void stacking up faster because of the ticks of Shadow War Pain or Vampiric Touch, and that's how they can have very good Funnel damage. Another spec that you might remember all the way back in the good old days of BFA during Zol Mythic, which became so strong that Zol had to be excluded from All Star for damage in Mythic difficulty, was because of the funnel power of Saturday Road. In the overall rankings, the Turbo AoE Frost Mage was gobbling up all of the top results, but Subtlety was insane in that fight in particular, to the point where guilds were having five or even six sub rogues in the group because of their funnel damage. You don't see it in a traditional Mythic Plus group anymore because they are using their Shuriken Storm to use their AoE spender, but that's the entire point. Shuriken Storm gives you one combo point per target hit. So what if you're fighting five enemies, but you only want to do damage to one? Well, what happens is you can simply do Shuriken Storm to instantly get five combo points into Eviscerate for single target. And then Shuriken Storm, Eviscerate, Shuriken Storm, Eviscerate, Shuriken Storm, Eviscerate, Rinse and Repeat. That is another very good example of funnel damage. The Subtlety Rogue won't really be doing AoE damage at all because Shuriken Storm does, you know, no damage whatsoever. You are using the AoE ability to gain more single target damage. That's the concept of having good funnel. Uh, assassination is similar. Assassination can plant multiple dots on enemies and then gain much more energy through those dots 
ticking so that they can spend that energy on single target balance is similar with multi-dotting enemies to dump more astral power into star surge and single target damage enhancement is a pseudo elemental they do have more things to benefit from by having multiple targets flame shocked or being able to use primordial wave with uh, lightning bolt on multiple enemies to gain bloodlust levels of haste with their primordial wave so these specs can essentially essentially gave up their AOE damage in order to do maximum single target. Some of these specs, as mentioned, can just choose not to do this. They can just go back to doing very good priority damage or very good spread wide AOE damage if given enough ramp up time. Same goes for elemental, but this becomes an option to them. The option for elemental is there. The option for shadow is there. The option for funnel to outlaw isn't there. Because what is Outlaw gaining by spreading their damage with Blade Flurry on five enemies? Are they gaining more damage on single target? Are they gaining more combo points if they hit more enemies? No, they gain nothing by hitting multiple targets in order to do more single target damage. So they do have higher priority damage thanks to the Blade Flurry, but they can't really gain more resources, more energy, more combo points to spend them in single target like some of these specs can which is what allows them to have funnel damage now just to be clear this is a very niche type of damage okay it's not something that makes you meta basically it is something that can make you the best in a certain fight usually in a raid you know usually for one encounter or two there might be ways for you to have some funnel tier damage like for example council fights you know fights where you want to keep ads alive for a bit so you can target three four different enemies with you know with flame shocks with dots with with, uh, with poisons and bleeds to gain more value for single target damage but generally speaking this will be found in like maybe 10 percent of the fights you're you're having not more aoe prior damage is what is going to be much more widespread in most of your encounters whenever you have to aoe you know sometimes sometimes there is little prior damage to be had we use the example of no good offensive because there are certain packs with enemies at somewhat higher hp but there are also plenty of other dungeons right where you're doing a mega pull where all of the mobs have more or less the same hp so you don't really gain that much from having priority damage on a particular target and you much rather would just turbo aoe all of them down equally with Reign of Fire, so something like a Destro or a Red Paladin become more valuable. So in general, in AoE encounters, if this is 10%, then these two are gonna be splitting up at the time. Maybe something like 50 to 40, you know, maybe something like 55 to 35 split between the two. You know, often they are the, the best type of damage profile you want, in, in Mythic Plus especially, because that's where most of your AoE fights are going to be. But with this said, I thought this was going to be a good PSA as well as an informational video on how do the different damage styles of certain specs can impact their power. Even when you just look at a very simple surface level, oh, how much damage are they doing? Even when looking at this, the value of each of these specs' damage can differ greatly by how exactly do they do damage in, in AoE in particular. In the difference between doing flat out, even mega AoE to all enemies or doing AoE while being able to focus on a particular target or in some rare cases being able to use multi-target abilities not to do more AoE damage but to buff your single target that being being funnel damage so with this psa video on this saturday we are now done talking to each other for today we are starting the goodbyes with thanking all of the patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of the channel which can as usual still be given completely for free you can like and comment down below as usual as well as subscribing to the channel itself now with these pointless things out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and in the meantime okay okay this is still fine there is the sun out but i'm not getting any hints of possible sweating so it's still acceptable